so hello students so today we are going to discuss about what exactly is there in the maths uh, domain subject of your CET so I am Pawan so I am an MBA from Indian University of Foreign Trade Delhi and I have been teaching maths in my free time for almost now eight years so I have trained students who are preparing for CA foundation students who are preparing for law entrance BB entrance examinations and even complex examinations which will have lot of mathematical uh, concepts so for your math subject I am going to take live videos for you and at the same time I am going to clarify all your doubts in our forums and my recorded videos are also accessible for you in this specific subject for various subjects like probability sets and so on and so forth so you can access those videos and prepare accordingly so hello friends today we are going to look at what exactly is mathematics in your CUE to exam as you know mathematics is one of the domain subjects that are being offered as an option for you so if you are choosing mathematics as one of your option what are the different kind of topics that you need to learn and how exactly we are going to help you so if you look at as a part of our commerce combo we are giving you mathematics as one of the domain subject and in that we are going to give you live classes till the date of your examination we are going to conduct you mock exams at the same time we are going to give you live videos and recorded videos also for some of the topics that are already available with us okay so in this regard for example if you are opting for uh, let us say bcom in delhi university then in the domain subjects either you have to choose accountancy or mathematics as one of your mandatory subjects right so if you want to choose mathematics as one of your domain subjects our course in that commerce combo is going to help you because mathematics preparation will also simultaneously go hand in hand with your other sections now what exactly does mathematics have if you look at as per the uh, syllabus that is released by uh, the nta which is your national testing agency right the syllabus will be based on your ncrt class 12 syllabus as you can see in this there will be two sections in this question paper section a and section b and if you observe after section b they have also mentioned b1 and b2 so this is what i am going to underline for you so you are wondering sir why exactly have they divided b into b1 and b2 yes i will come to that so but there will be one question paper which will contain two sections so you will have section a and section b so the section b will be either b1 or b2 it will not be both so section a will have 15 questions covering both maths and applied maths which will be compulsory for all candidates so anyone who is opting for maths as their domain subject this section a is mandatory with 15 questions and section b has to split b1 or b2 so either you can opt for b1 or you can opt for b2 what exactly do they contain b1 will have 35 questions in maths of which 25 questions needs to be attempted so 15 questions previously and 25 questions now basically you have to attempt 40 questions section b2 similarly will have 35 questions purely from applied math so if you have chosen maths those 50 questions anyway will be common for everyone and 35 will come from pure maths so you can attempt 25 from that the one who has chosen applied maths as his section b 15 questions is common with him and remaining questions out of 35 he has to attempt 25 okay so that is how it is now let's see what is the syllabus for section a section syllabus if i am looking at the headline topics algebra calculus integration differential equations probability distributions binomial distribution under probability then you have linear programming so these are all the different topics that are part of section a which is mandatory for every student 15 questions are mandatory now if you are looking at section b which is further split into b1 and b2 b1 is basically all the school maths that you have studied for example you can see relations and functions inverse trigonometric functions then under algebra you have matrices different kinds of matrices then you have determinants up to 3 by 3 matrix then basically you have unit 3 you have calculus in calculus you have continuity and differentiation then applications of derivatives under various concepts these are all part of your mathematics so you can see different kinds of applications he has shown to you to give you some perspective on what exactly mathematics means now if you are going to mathematics then chapter 4 is vectors and three-dimensional geometry so you can see vectors different kinds of vectors 
what is the addition of vectors how do you multiplication of vectors angle between the vectors so many concepts then you have 3d geometry where you are finding out angle and so on and so forth and unit 5 is linear programming then you have probability under probability you have conditional probability different kinds of probability problems related to probability and so on and so forth now coming to applied mathematics so someone who has chosen applied maths in plus 1 and plus 2 he can now come to this as a part of mathematics what exactly do you have here you have arithmetic very very basics of arithmetic then you have various problems related to modulus then you have problems related to mixtures and allegations very very fundamental concepts then you have some numerical problems that you have to learn then you have some, some problems and boats and streams like upstream and downstream questions then you have some questions from pipes and cisterns similarly just like uh, time and work may you have person doing work in pipes and cisterns some pipes will be filling the water some will be emptying the tank so basically together how much time do they take such kind of questions then you have problem related to race and games that means a completes a 100 meter race in 50 seconds b can complete in 40 seconds so c does something better so how much do they take like that questions compared to races those kind of questions are there then you have concept problem related to partnership active partner and sleeping partner how do you distribute the profit based on their ratio of investment and time they invest then you have problems related to numerical inequalities like equations you solve inequations then you have matrices here also just like in the standard uh, section a you have seen the matrix no here also you have matrices then here you have unit 3 as calculus here you have higher order derivatives marginal cost and marginal revenue then you have maximum minima then here also you have probability distribution in probability distribution you have random distribution and discrete random variable then you have mathematical expectation then you have variance how do you compute variance and standard deviation formula based then you have index numbers and time series data which is very comfortable chapter then you have problems on index numbers and time based data and then finally you have financial mathematics these are something that is very very important as you study your core subjects in your graduation these are the topics that are going to help you on how do you compute emi when you are borrowing a loan how do you value a bond right and what is called sinking fund what is the time value of money such questions are also there then you have problems related to linear programming so these are all the topics that are there in your applied mathematics so section a to summarize is 15 questions which is compulsory and section b which is split into two different parts b1 and b2 b1 is your maths b2 is applied mathematics you can choose one of the two out of which you have 35 questions and you have to attempt 25 so 15 from section a 25 from b1 or b2 so basically you have to attempt 40 questions in that stipulated time so basically mathematics comprises of all these questions now to understand what kind of questions that can come in the examination so let's try to solve a mock questions maybe three to four questions for you to understand but please remember guys this uh, domain which is mathematics may be an option if you are choosing bcom but if you are choosing economics or if you are choosing bms or if you are choosing bba fia this subject will become mandatory so doing mathematics will become mandatory so earlier you start your preparation with our live sessions with our recorded videos which you can probably watch at your time of your convenience and doubt clarifying sessions and also your mock papers will help you do well in your actual examination guys now let's look at a sample question so the question goes this way xyz company has a policy for its recruitment as it should not recruit more than eight men to three women so men are x women are y how can this fact be expressed in inequality so when we say linear inequality this is exactly what he is asking so if we take the number of men as x and the number of women as y he is saying the company has a policy for its recruitment as it should not recruit more than eight men for every three or not more than so basically you have to put less than so x by y should be less than eight by three so if you cross multiply you will get three x is less than 8y which is not visible anywhere so let's do the reverse 8y is greater than 3x which is there in your option c so this will be your answer so you can see it's very basic okay okay let's look at the next question this question is based on relations as you can see if a is related to b if a is related to b if and only if the difference in a and b is an even integer then the relation is now you have to understand what kind of relation is this okay 
if a is related to b if and only if the difference in a and b is an even integer so you can see there are three types of relations right reflexive symmetric and transitive so how exactly do we know whether it is a reflexive relation you know a minus a is basically zero which is even so that is taken care of and if a minus b is even we know b minus a is also even correct so for example 2 minus 4 is even 4 minus 2 is also even whether it's positive or negative leave that aside if a minus b is even b minus a is also even reflexive is correct symmetric is also correct second one is symmetric now look at transitive if a minus b is even b minus c is even then a minus c also should be even so let's take 8 comma 4 4 comma 2 so 8 minus 4 is even 4 minus 2 is even so 8 minus 2 is also even so that means it is reflexive a minus a is even symmetric a minus b is even b minus a is also even transitive a minus b is even b minus c is even so a minus c or c minus a all are even so reflexive symmetric transitive relation all three put together it is called as an equivalence relation which is option d okay now let's look at this question the cost for producing x units is given as 500 minus 20 x square plus x cube by 3 the marginal cost is minimum at what value of x you know if you take this equation as c c is equal to 500 minus 20 x square plus x cube by 3 you know dc by dx which is the first differentiation is 500 is 0 20 into 2 which is 40 x plus x cube is 3 x square by 3 so basically 3 3 gets cancelled so it is x square so minus 40 x plus x square but he is asking marginal cost so then we have to go for the second order differentiation d square c by dx square minus 40 x ka differentiation is minus 40 plus x square is 2 x so when will marginal cost be minimum when the second order differentiation equal to 0 so minus 40 plus 2 x will be equal to 0 2 x is equal to 40 so x is equal to 20 so you know the option is option c so these are some standard questions that you can expect since the syllabus is vast each and every uh, section will have lot of questions which will be discussed in our live classes in addition to that for some of the topics we have recorded videos which you can watch at your home and at convenience and obviously you will have supporting material which you can refer in your preparation remember this is part of your domain subject and it will be a scoring subject provided you have already studied in plus one plus two and this subject will become compulsory if you are choosing for either BBA or BMS and economics. So in that case this will be very advantageous for your CUT preparation. Okay. Thank you guys.